welcome this is the reading for the Aquarian Gemini and Libran. It is for the week of April 12 until the 18th of April. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Next week I will be back on camera. I had um, to operate on my eyes in a week, so I can't be on camera. So I will be back next week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's see what is coming up in this week for you guys. So the center of this week is that a whole lot of you are thinking of moving forward. You're looking to the future. You're trying to create something. And I see a whole lot of collaboration is going to be happening in this week. So um, this is um a week that is going to be very, very promising for a lot of you. Um, The pinnacle of the week and the crowning of the week is that collaboration um, is good. Number 33, um, number 88, 33 is here. 88 and 33, there is some sort of a significance. 88 and 33, and a lot of you are going to be receiving a whole lot of money, okay? So I see 88 and 33 is playing a real significant role in this week for a whole lot of you. So 88 and uh, um, 33. So some money, expect money to be coming in. You have the 10 of pentacles upright and you have the nine of pentacles, um, upright. So, um, expect, um, unexpected money. Expect the, unex uh, expect unexpected money this week. Okay. Money is going to be coming in, in this week. All right. So let's look at the crowning of your week. The crowning of your week is very basic and it's very, it's saying a lot, okay, because it's about collaboration. It's about uh, collaborating with other people. And as you collaborate with other people, you're going to be recognizing how teamwork is going to make the dream work in this week, okay? So whether or not you're working in an organization, institution, or you're on your own, by networking and, uh, you know, going out, looking for people to collaborate with is going to be a very, very wonderful um, wonderful energies because they're going, you're going to be recognizing how very significant it is going to be by talking and collaborating with other people. And if you're working in a team work situation, how that is also going to be very, very good for you because it is the basis and the crowning of this week, um, 33 is going to be of significant, significance in the sense that 33, it's all about, uh, um manifesting a lot okay it's all about manifesting a lot and um you are going to be recognizing um just by collaborating with other people how much you are going to be receiving in this week just by only manifesting with other people okay a whole lot of news if you're married and you were thinking about buying a house selling a house looking for a place to get a whole lot of news is going to be coming in that is a yes and i see the financial stability that you need to move forward it is going to be good so whatever that was happening and transpiring with a lot of you um who are married or um is looking for somewhere to create the ceremony or that sort of a thing it is going to be a yes a lot of good news is going to be coming in that is going to be pushing you forward if you wanted to buy a house, if you wanted to um, sell a house or whatever, yes, yes, yes. And that's why all of the money, if you notice the money is coming in Monday, Tuesday for some of you. Some of you could be the rest of the week, okay? Then we see um, a lot of you could be have to be paying out some money, okay? And we are looking at this at the other half of the week where some of you might have to be paying back some money. All right, so be aware of this. Um, and this is going to be happening at the end of the week. So if you notice, the center of your week has to do with communication and um, dealing with moving forward. Yeah, moving forward in a new direction, creating your own stability, creating your way forward. And this is um, going to be good. Now, um, you're dealing with the energy of the lovers, Okay, you're dealing with um, 
uh, you know, as, as if you want to move in together, buy something together, collaborate together. However, that is coming up is as if uh, you and your partner wants to buy a new house or moving together or relocate. However, that is transpiring. Um, it's about moving forward. And I see that you ladies are going to be coming down on a Taurus man. Whoever this Taurus man is, I see a lot of you are going to be coming down on a Taurus man and um, a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion person, okay? Um, this Taurus man and this Pisces Cancer, uh, Pisces Cancer um, person could have created a whole lot of problem. If you recognize you guys are dealing with older people. So I see you men and women are protecting yourself. Whatever is happening and transpiring, you men and women are protecting yourself. I see the Aquarian women here. So you Aquarian women are standing strong. And I see you men, um, the um, Aquarian Gemini and Libra man is here. But I expressly see you Aquarian women here. You Aquarian women are bringing down some sort of a deceptive play that has to do with a Taurus man. And you Aquarian women are standing up against this Taurus man and speaking your truth. A lot of you could be dealing with your boss that is a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion person. A lot of you maybe is your husband. Um, so I see you women, if you're married to a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion person, or a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn person, you will be have to be dealing with uh, the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion person, have the sieve um, of create some sort of a deceptiveness. So it could have been someone you were in business with. You're going to be finding this out. Then we see the energy of the Ten of Wands. And the energy of the Ten of Wands is that a lot of you who are married to a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn man are going to be um, dealing with a whole lot of burdens, a whole lot of burdens. Uh, whatever this man has done or has created, I've created a whole lot of burdens for you women. When we look at you men, you men, I see you men are going to be collaborating um, it with a corporation institution or um, in order to get some sort of a loan or some sort of a lending. I see you men are collaborating at the workplace and you're going to be um, really, really successful. You men are going to be um, carrying out like a real successful streak that is going to be uh, transpiring and there's no question about this. You men are going to be really bringing out a successful street because we see the energy of the magician. I see a corporation institution. It could be a business or at the workplace. You're collaborating with others. And I see it, you men are going to be receiving some money that you were supposed to receive. Okay, so that is good. So on both sides, men, you are going to be um, receiving the financial help or support. Our unexpected help or support is going to be coming in to you men, you're going to be recognizing and seeing this. So if you recognize this, so for you Aquarian, Gemini, and Libra people, money is going to be coming in. And especially you men, a whole lot of money is going to be coming in. Some of you men could have been working on some sort of a project with a Taurus or a Capricorn man. And you're going to be recognizing uh, um, whether you're going to be start thinking whether or not this project is going to be ending or whether or not this project is going to be going in the direction um, that you want it to go. And I see you have a lot of questions um, about yourself. You're questioning whether or not this person is the right person for this project. So I see a lot of you Aquarian, Gemini or Libra person is dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn man. And you're trying to figure out or to recognize whether or not it is uh, the best thing to do. All right, so those are like kind of major issues that I am seeing at this moment and picking up. So a lot of you, it's about you and your family member moving forward, okay, and standing your ground. And I see a lot of you women are using the sword of truth in order to push through you and your fam family members through some sort of a situation that is transpiring. All right, so that was like a little breakdown. 
Then what we see, I see news of a whole lot of money could be coming in for a whole lot of you. Um, a bank financial institution could be recognizing um, something or if you have applied for a mortgage or some sort of financial help, it is going to be coming true. I see you're taking this money and you're moving forward. I see especially people younger than 50, your worries is going to be over. So this bank financial institution is going to be um, surrendering the money um, up to a lot of you young people. Um, younger than 50, you will receive the money that you need. All right. This is a clear, clear cut. Then we see a lot of you are working together or creating some sort of a stability with a group of people and working together. I see you're communicating and through positive communication, your worries is going to be over. This is affecting people between the ages of 25 and 45. Positive communication gives you a push and a new start. I see some of you young people that was dealing with your father that is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion, or a supervisor. I see you're standing your ground, um, but yet protecting yourself because you decide to move up in this company, whether or not your supervisor will give you a push or not. A lot of you that has some sort of awareness over a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion, um, person this worries is now over because you're facing this person whatever this person was doing you stood up against this person and you faced this person and you took down whatever the deceptiveness this person was doing a lot of you might have to pay um um pay back some money but it's it's like no you don't have to pay back this money because they recognize that a Taurus Virgo a Capricorn man tried to rip you off a whole lot of money and I see um, you know, you stood uh, using the sword of truth. I see you stood, you women and men stood using the sword of truth and stand your ground against a Pisces, Gens, or a Scorpion man that was trying to create a whole lot of burdens for you. And you stood your grounds and you um, make sure that whatever you wanted and you need, you will receive what you want, not what someone else wants to give you. So at the end of the day, you're standing your grounds because you know exactly what you wanted as, as if you were looking for a loan or that sort of a thing. Someone else wanted to give you something and you're like, no, nope, that's not what I want. So however this is playing or however this is transpiring or someone just wanted to pay you what they wanted to pay you and you're like, no, 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 it's not happening. It's just not happening. So I see you at the end of the day, you turn your back up to some sort of a um, unconventional game and try to protect your money and you turn your back. And at the end of the week, you're going to be coming out good because you stood your ground and you showed up. Hey, I don't want what you're giving me. I know what I should have. So a lot of you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn man that tried to um, take you down for a lot in the weekend. So be aware. It's showing up in the weekend. It doesn't have to be in the weekend, but it can be in the weekend. A lot of you are dealing with a situation where a, Pi a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion person tried to deceive you something, but I see, and, and and this man has a lot of burdens now because he tries to deceive you and now he has been caught up and he has a whole lot of burdens to deal with. Um, So that is there. Then we see you women that married to a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person. I see that you're going to be having some sort of an issue with this man. And I see that uh, um, you men are having issues with this man over a project or some sort of a project. So the weekend is a weekend where there is just some sort of a undesirable thing by a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion man that tried to steal a whole lot of money and they came down on this man. So whoever this man is, the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion man that tried to take money that wasn't theirs and they came down on this man. So you can see it in this little square. Okay. Now, um, in the weekend, you men are going to be looking at a project and wondering, you know, is this project going to finally work out? Is this project going to be finally finished? However, um, it is coming up and transpiring and it's going to be recognizing what direction to go in. So this is going to be good. All right. So let's break this week down. So we see a lot of you turning your back to something. 
um, that happened in the, the week before. And I see a whole lot of news is coming in. So it was as if uh, um, a lot of you were offered something and you refused the offer or a lot of you recognize that, you know, a situation has come to an end. Let me move forward. However, this is transpiring. Um, you got some sort of an offer. You said, no, don't want that offer. You stood your ground and I see news is going to be coming in round about Monday, letting you and your partner know that no need to worry. Um, the situation is now being resolved. Okay. So that is really positive news on Monday. On Tuesday, I see a whole lot of money is coming in. So a lot of you that, um, wanted to apply for some sort of a mortgage or some, some sort of a problem could have been there. It is going to be resolved. Um, it could be a bank financial institution. Some of you wanted a lending or so. Um, there was some sort of a e-cups, but it's going to be resolved. Um, in this week. And I see on Tuesday, the money could be, um, up on your account. Okay. So a lot of you who are married and wanted some sort of uh, financial help or that sort of a thing, um, expect on Tuesday, the money is going to be coming in. Um, there we can see the energy of the nine of pentacles. The money is coming in on Tuesday. Then we are looking at uh, Wednesday. And Wednesday, some sort of a communication is coming um, to you guys who are married, some sort of a communication. Um, it could be some sort of a contract. It could be you sold a house, okay? So this is around selling a house, selling a business. The money is going to be on your account, okay? Whatever it has to do with selling a house or a business or some sort of a contractual agreement, a whole lot of money is going to be coming in to you. I see a lot of you young people are looking towards the future and standing your grounds. And a lot of you young people who are thinking about buying a house and you go, well, whether or not this is going to be happening, it is definitely going to be happening. There is no worries about this. It's definitely going to be happening. Then we see on Wednesday, the middle of the week, I see collaborating. A whole lot of you men are going to be collaborating. And by collaborating and creating stability in your world and networking with other people, I see it's going to be a very successful week. So a lot of you men who were hoping for some sort of a financial help with your business or financial help on a whole, um, it is going to be a yes and it is going to be happening. I see you're looking at uh, moving forward and you start moving forward and this is good because communication was very good and people recognized it. And that is really what brought you out of this week in a very powerful way. Then we look at, uh, Friday, Friday, a lot of you, whatever is happening and transpiring Friday. A lot of you on Friday are dealing with a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion person. Now, whoever the Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion person is, it could be someone in another city or in another place. Your worries is going to be over because they recognize who this person is and what this person have done. Um, and I see that some of you ladies or the law could be coming down on a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion person and their business. Whatever that has been transpiring, whoever this person is, I see they need to pay back a lot of you, um, a, a lot of money. And they recognize how this man has took a lot of money. And I see a lot of you are standing your ground. So whether you're a man or a woman, you're standing your grounds against a um, Pisces Cancer Scorpion man that has took a lot of money from you. Um, you can recognize that this man has done it and thought that no one would have recognized it. And now you're standing your grounds because I see you are, are really making work so that this man repay every cent, um, because of what this person have done. I don't know who this is, Pisces against or a Scorpion person. It is looking as someone you had collaborated with in the past or someone who wanted to collaborate with you and you had said no. But whoever this person is has created some sort of a criminal offense. You see, trying to get away with something that he has done, but he was caught. Okay. 
Then we look at uh, um, Saturday and um, some sort of a communication because you're going to be figuring out and recognizing what this man have done. So a Pisces, Cancer, a Scorpion man together with a Taurus, Virgo, and a Capricorn man wanted to rip you off a whole lot of money. And people now recognize and caught these two people and recognize what they were about to do and took them down. Okay. So whether these men are businessmen or it is, you know, your ex-husband or whatever that was going on. Um, these two men was trying to create some sort of a deceptiveness. See, it's connected. These two men, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion person, um, together with a Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn man. Wanted to rip you off a whole lot of money, but it's not happening. It's not happening, not in your book, not in this timeline, no. Then, um, um, you know, you women and men really recognize what these two people were doing. And you stood your grounds. You really, really stood your grounds and show up these people what they, what they tried to do. You really stood your ground, show up these people what they, they try to do and people are now recognizing the foul play what these people were trying to do your burdens there is some sort of a burdensome situation that was created by a taurus virgo or a capricorn man and i see that people are trying to um release you from this burden because they recognize that this uh taurus man was very very deceptive whoever the taurus man is and was was extremely, extremely deceptive. A whole lot of you are going to be getting back a whole lot of money that was either stolen or taken. And your worries is going to be over. I see a lot of you. Communication is going to be helping you a far away with whatever you're doing. Clear communication is going to be helping you a far away. Clear communication is going to be bringing you out of some sort of an undesirable um, situation that you got caught up with because of outside influence in your life and outside influence that created a whole lot of problems for you. So wonderful, wonderful week. Um, the last Friday, Saturday, Sunday is where um, things begin to become very sticky and it has to do with deceptive play of a Pisces cancer or a scorpion person that tried to steal work together um to steal something and they're going to be you know they're going to be catching this person um and I you know that's the only thing where you recognize the really um undesirable play of this person and the situation and they're, they're going to be catching this person and I see whoever this um you men and women are that was having to deal with some sort of an issue with this person. They are going to be catching this person. There is no question about this. So this is going to be God. So it is a week where a lot of you are walking away from a situation. And I see money is going to be returning. It is going to be good. I see a lot of you working hard. I see a lot of you no longer um, worry about whoever the spicy skin or scorpion man is. I see communication is going to be clear. A lot of you are going to be letting this man know you need to pay me my money. And a lot of you are standing your ground. I see a lot of protection is coming up for you later. So, um, um, and your burdens is going to be finally over. A lot of you uh, men are really communicating with a, a, a Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn man over a project at the workplace. And, you, you know, you are there wondering, is this viable? Is this is this viable? Should I go forward with this person? For the rest, ladies and gentlemen, it is going to be a very, very good week. Enjoy. Namaste. Until next time.